everyone, this is Ryan with hollypower.com and today I want to give you a quick uh, how-to tutorial on designing a nice cover photo and profile photo for your Facebook business page. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do it using a website called canva.com, uh, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com, which is a free website to join up. I thoroughly advise everyone to join up. Even if you've got no design skills, it makes it so easy for you to do it, okay? So all you got to do is give your email, make a password, sign up with the use of information you would expect. And then you'll soon see you come into this page here and you've got a whole load of things you can choose from where it already gives you the set dimensions so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Really handy. So you can see here Facebook cover, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, A4 documents, cards, email headers, Twitter posts, you, you get the idea, okay? And it will then preload these for you with the correct dimensions. So it saves you having to then adjust it afterwards, having to crop it when you put it into Facebook, or run the risk of having a poorly optimized image that's either really stretched out or really scrunched together, which just looks messy and sloppy and doesn't give the right impression for your clients, okay? So we're gonna first then have a look at a, um, a cover photo for a made up Facebook uh, page I'm about to create. So I'm gonna click on this one here, Facebook cover. Um, if you do need to do it, manually it's 851 pixels by 315 pixels um, is the optimized size that Facebook recommend so I'll click on that and it'll load it up for me um, and I'll just show you the two main elements so you'll see first here in the main picture this here is our space to work with so these are the perfect dimensions for a Facebook cover image. You'll also see that they actually gray out the uh, bottom left corner here, which of course is where your profile picture will go. Um, one thing it doesn't do, sadly, is it doesn't gray out the bottom right area here, which is actually where your buttons will be to like and your call to action and so forth. So we've got to be mindful of that. Now, uh, it has some here, um, if move over to the left-hand side, it's got some conveniently already thought out layouts for you. So you can basically just use these if you wish and change the details to make it suitable for you. Or you can start from scratch. You can see it's got a whole load of different stuff, images, lines, illustrations, charts, photos, pictures, text. Um, different backgrounds. You can do pretty much anything you like. Um, now these elements are all free. However, there are some premium elements, which if you use those, Canva will charge you. Okay. Um, in case you wonder what the catch was, but don't let that put um, don't let that put you off because in all the time I've been using it, which is quite a long time now, um, I've never once used any of the premium paid for options. So uh, don't let that put you off. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here into the uploads. You can also upload your own imagery, which is almost certainly what you're going to want to do. Um, I certainly do. So I'm going to do that right now. It's going to pull up a whole list of the stuff that I've done before, and using this top one here. I'm just going to drag this over. Now, this is a image of um, Holly's salon, and I'm going to use that for this. So you can see I just stretch it out, and it's literally just a matter of dragging and placing and dropping wherever you want it to be. That's going to look pretty smart, I reckon, like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to pop that there. Now, a word about cover photos. Generally speaking, um, you're going to want to have a picture there maybe of your premises, maybe of your staff, if you've got a number of staff, maybe of someone having a treatment, okay? Obviously, if you use other people, get their permission to use their uh, their imagery. Don't just uh, don't just take it for granted. Um, but do something which you think is going to be enticing um, and is going to help get people in. This is a very large bit of space that's going to show up at the top of your Facebook page. So you want to use that to the best of your advantage. OK, uh, one thing you do not want to be doing is using uh, stock imagery. That's a massive no-no for a cover photo. It's highly unimaginative. People know it's stock photography um, and they're not going to buy into it. OK, even a poorly taken photo on your phone is going to be better. All right. Now, so as I say, so I'm going to have that there like that. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put some text on this as well because this uh, I've got the opportunity to do that. So I'm just going to drag out a bit of this here and literally just stick it on top, as you can see, like that. Now, um, I can't see that as it is, so let's change the colours on here. 
And um, again, the it's going to give you the uh, opportunity to change these bits however you um, see fit. So I'm going to use the advantage to use this bit of space to put an offer on my Facebook cover photo for this. You might like to do the same. So I'm going to put on here 15% off all manicures. when you check in on Facebook. So what I've done here, there we go, there's a little offer there, a little Facebook offer, 15% of all manicures um, for my nail bar uh, when you check in on Facebook. So <clears throat> the reason I would offer that is um, hopefully that will entice people to come in and, and try my business out. Uh, but in exchange, I do want something back. I want them to check in on Facebook. It's going to show up in all their friends' news feeds um, and maybe some of their friends will think, wow, gee, that looks great. Um, I'll go with him or her the next time and get some of that action. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, that's all I need to do for this. So I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name it Holly's Nails Cover. And once this is just done with saving, I'm then able to download this image um, to my um, to my hard drive. And then I'm going to be able to use that then in Facebook. And as we know, the brilliant thing is, hopefully, that should be exactly the right sizes. So here we go. It's just preparing the design and finalizing it for me. Um, <clears throat> As you can see, it says in there it's free. All the elements I used were free ones, which is good. And then here we go. And there's my banner ad, which has taken all of about, uh, my cover photo, sorry, which has taken all of about three minutes to put together. So I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm now going to do my cover photo to go with that whilst I'm in it. So you can see how that works too. So I'm going to simply go back to the main stand again. Now, we strangely, it doesn't actually have Facebook uh, cover uh, profile photos in their set um, ones, but you can see here there's a little option that says use custom dimensions. And if I go into that, it brings up these boxes, allowing me to put any width and any height that I so choose. So Facebook requires minimums of 180 by 180 pixels for a cover photo. So if I put in 180 by 180 uh, and design, sorry for a profile photo, not a cover photo. And then that should give me a nice little box. There it is. And again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, use an image for that one. Now, um, for profile photos, um, assuming that you are uh, just you um, as a business, I again thoroughly recommend using a photo of you. Okay. Um, use a photo of you. If you are able to, then one that's been professionally taken would be best as opposed to a selfie in Yates's on Saturday night um, so or uh, so that would be best ideally looking at the camera and smiling um, is is perfect really failing that if you're a slightly large business you might want to have your logo for argument's sake um, that would be acceptable but as I say in an ideal world you want to have a picture of you the reason for that is quite simple people buy people OK, if someone is considering um, coming and seeing you for a treatment or having a treatment done, they're going to want to know what you look like. They're going to want to know who they are and who they're doing business with long before you actually come to see them. All right. So I'm quite happy with that. That's dead easy, that one. So again, I will just name that. So Holly's Nails profile picture. Save that <clears throat> and then download it. And then again, that will then just be sat on my desktop, ready to go uh, straight into my Facebook pages. So you can see that's taken no more than sort of five or six minutes to get both of those done. Um, and it would have been a lot quicker too um, if, I'd, if I'd have needed to be. Or again, you could take a lot longer if you wish and really have a good play around with it and make it look nice and designed. So you can see how simple it is with, with Canva to get a nice professional looking um, cover photo and profile photo. One thing I would recommend if you do have the means, I would always recommend above doing it yourself is actually to get someone to design it for you. Uh, graphic design is often expensive. However, you can always check out fiverr.com um, where you can get one designed for you from five dollars. So that's about three pounds at the moment. Um, might also be worth having a look at if you find you're not very arty or very designy or aren't very good with the, the computers. So 
But as I say, it's a really good fun program. Have a little play around. Um, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, this tutorial. If you have, then please do feel free to subscribe to our channel. Um, give us a thumbs up and a like and do share it with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Have a great day. Bye now.